Howdy. I'm going to, this little guy down here is Safari, and I'm going to show you some security settings with Safari. Um, I'll go up here and I'll go into preference, but no, see this reset Safari? I'm going to test that toward the end of the uh, video here. But I want to go to, you probably want to block all pop up windows. Once in a while, you'll have to turn that back off again, but not very often. Okay, preferences. Just a bit of information right here. If you want to use a different browser other than Safari, you have to change the preferences in Safari. Well, these are all the browsers that I have on this uh, computer. And right now I'm using Safari a lot. So, And then the only other security setting here is that you can open save files after downloading. Um, anyway, I keep that unchecked, okay? Um, security is the only other place. Um, one, when you're visiting fraudulent sites. And what this uses is Google's safe browsing. Um, and it's been unavailable until just a few minutes ago, and then this had a little warning in here that it wasn't up to date. Uh, now, right here is one that I'm not sure you want to do. Um, they know by your IP address where you're coming from, and they can direct, they can say, um, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina now has a sale on whatever you're looking for. So I'd suggest taking this off and not allowing them to know exactly where you're coming from. Uh, enable plugins, you probably got to do these. Uh, here's your block up, block pop up windows. You probably got to enable these to actually have most sites work. Except cookies, um, if you use always you're in trouble. If you use never, there's probably a lot of sites that won't work. So only from sites that I visit, block cookies from third parties and advertisers. That's where they try to track you, okay? Uh, and here's a good one to check. Ask before sending a non-secured form from a secured website. Sometimes that can fool you. But I just want to show you something here. The cookies that are set. All these are set. These are expiration dates. See that? That's never. That'll never expire. Uh, see all these? So they're in there forever. Some of them you can trust. Uh, see there's some eBay stuff when you go looking. Uh, ads at CNN. See the CNN. Um, 11 a.m. and um, that would be 2037. So they're basically there forever. Uh, that was their idea. And some of these are tracking cookies. Some of them are just preferences to make it easier next time you go in. Okay, now I'm going to remove them all, but not right now. I want to try something else first. So, uh, done. So that's the only thing um, security-wise that's in here. So what I want, I'll be back here in a minute. I just want to test this Safari. I want to reset Safari. Okay. Oh, see that's going to remove all the history, the cookies, the website icons. Good. Now um, I'm going to click reset and we'll go back and look at the cookies. Now a lot of the browsers have the option of removing the cookies as soon as you close the browser. And I really like that feature. Let's go back in here into preferences under security and we'll show the cookies gone that's good so you probably want to do that fairly often when you get done at the end of the day or before you start the new day or whatever you do uh, you probably want to get rid of all of those cookies uh, otherwise they track you um, and it's also called spyware in some cases so um, so that's about it for safari you can get do the reset right from here. Uh, you can do private browsing, but they tell me right now it doesn't do a whole lot of good. 
in Safari and not much better in, in any of the other browsers. Private browsing doesn't keep any history or any cookies or anything. Um, so it doesn't, you don't know it's there, but they can still track you out there online. And with Safari, they still are stored elsewhere. And people that know what they're doing can find them and hack into your system and take over your identity, so to speak. So that's it for security uh, for Safari, the browser called Safari.